most of the nuclear powers are democracies are they not so we have politicians sitting as the commanders of the armies right now on one hand we keep blasting our politicians as very very disgusting people on the other hand we have given them our nuclear stockpiles to command and fire don't you see that's a very odd inflammable combo the same politician that you accuse of being a rioter an arsonist a corrupt person a vile man sometimes even a murderer the same politician then becomes the prime minister or the president or somebody and this person is commanding 400 nuclear warheads now don't you see how precarious our position is the entire world love to hate let's say somebody like trump and you would even say that he is an imbecile he is mentally unstable emotionally he is a wreck all those things were said about him no and what was he commanding the world's largest nuclear force capable of destroying the earth at least 20 times over that's the might of the us nuclear arsenal not one country it can destroy the entire planet 20 times over and when you are that kind of a person inside as we said you will necessarily be able to locate if not create enemies on the outside that's the reason why powerful countries have to necessarily get into conflicts if there is no war then power starts feeling suffocated what do you do with all these sleek missiles see how beautiful they look they must be put to use so then you search for wars then you search for wars now you are saying there is so much conflict in the world that conflict is coming from the mind of the man which man am i talking of not just the decision maker but actually all those who put the decision maker in the chair and who are those people you and me because there is darkness in our mind so we put dark people in positions of power do you see that you will do as you are and that implies you will vote as you are no so if the common man is steeped in ignorance that's the kind of leaders he is going to select or elect correct and then they will fight then they will fight <coughs> is that surprising is that not obvious so what is the solution mass awareness is the solution it cannot be a top down thing it has to arise from the grassroots you have to know what is valuable you have to know that knowledge realization freedom are more important than anything else and then 
there is a solution to conflict otherwise you can keep having any numbers of uh, conferences and summits nothing comes out of it in fact we had a few particular conferences the second world war came out of that you know you know the second world war was born out of actually a treaty <laughs> the treaty of <laughs> so you can actually get together and have a conference and that conference results in a world war and you'll say it's a peace conference it's a conference to keep the universe in one piece it has to begin with you it has to begin with me there is no other way this might sound old fashioned not very exciting but sorry this is the only solution and if this is not the solution then calamity is the option the ones who are my age or elder than me in this room will will probably escape with uh, lesser damage because we anyway don't have too many decades to live but you people have what i mean five decades six decades hmm? on an average that's how that's how long you live so the onus is on you to not let uh, the planet degrade beyond a point you are inheriting it you will be inhabiting it the the older ones who are ruining it would ruin it and be gone and all the murk and the debris will be on your head so it's you who should stand up